When it comes to documenting your business processes, there is no faster way to capture and document those processes that one, than what I am about to show you. So in this example, we are going to turn on the capture extension and we're gonna capture our clicks so that we can create a process. Every time we click an ad, that ad is going to have to have a title. So we're gonna click in the ad name box to make sure that our, we've captured that process. And then we are going to make sure that we click on the, click on here on page to show that we want it to be the Flowster page. And then we're going to click on whatever other areas we would like. So in this case, we are going to click on say single image or video because that's the type of ad that we're going to create. And then we're going to click on this here, the media to signify that we need to select the media. Then we're going to click on this area here, primary text to signify that that text must be specified every single time the ad is done. And then we're going to click on the headline area to signify that a headline must be written every single time. We're going to click in the website URL area for the same reason, because the URL has to be specified. And then if there's anything else that we want to track we want to make sure for example we want to make sure that it's a website event and then we want to, and we'll just say those are all of the steps that are involved in a process so now we're going to click on capture to complete that now here's where the really cool thing happens so as soon as this is done and if your Flowster capture is a standalone Chrome extension you do not need a Flowster app to be able to do what I'm about to show you so now if you look at preview mode it's basically taken every single time I clicked on a page, it took a screenshot of that and it highlighted where I clicked. Now here's how the Flowster's capture extension works beautifully with the actual Flowster app. So let's say now that you want to share this. So there's a number of ways you can share it. You could just invite people in with an email address or what have you, and they can look at the screen that we're looking at right now. But I want to copy this content. We're going to put it over into Flowster. So copy and paste this workflow into app that support HTML, such as Flowster, Google Docs, on a click up whatever you would like. So we're now going to copy this to the clipboard. We're going to go into a blank workflow. Now we're not going to fill this workflow out manually by placing these widgets on the canvas. Instead, we're just going to put our mouse anywhere on the page. We're going to hit paste on our keyboard and voila, all of those clicks that we captured have now been imported into Flowster. So now I have a workflow ready. I can take it. I can assign it to somebody on my team. I can give it a name. I can give it a due date. So we'll say this one is due on the 9th create a workflow and now smog the dragon my employee has been assigned this workflow and he's going to go into ads manager because that's the first thing it tells him to do then he's going to click on the edit button because you can see here edit is highlighted in green and then he's going to click on video because this is going to be a video or rather ad name right here and you can edit so he's going to click on ad name so in this case you would probably edit the step of this to enter ad name and then you would say select facebook page you would edit this and then you you would click on specify ad type or whatever you wanted to call this, choose media, etc., etc., etc. So that is how you can rapidly create documentation on the fly using the Capture Chrome extension and Flowster.app together.